me, Kelly, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video, we are going to be choosing my October TBR with the TBR jar. Now, yes, I am wearing a tank top in October, but when I am recording this, I kid you not, it is 80 degrees outside, so I would love to be wearing like a cozy little sweater and all that, but it's 80 degrees, it's hot, I'm in shorts and a tank top. I literally just finished recording my septem September wrap up, so it's literally the same day, just changed, changed clothes, still sick, but I wanted to record this right now because I want to see what books we get for October and I'm just so excited um, because TBR jar videos are like my favorite to watch and it's just so fun. So there's some clarification on oh my gosh it's october it's fall she's wearing a tank top yes because it's still 80 degrees in minnesota and yes i'm still sick because i am pre-recording this a few weeks before this is posted so let's get on with the video if you don't know how tbr jar works basically i wrote a bunch of prompts i added a lot of new ones and i throw them in here on little pieces of paper i'll fold it up I am going to pick six, I think, again today, because I did six last month. Even though I did not read six books, I think putting six books gives me some range of like choices of what I want to read, and then I can do what I did for September mood read if I am not feeling them. So I get to pick, and then I try to find a book on my TBR behind me first um, that goes with the prompt. So hopefully that explains. I'm super excited. I have a lot of new books that I put on my TBR that I really want to get to. And we'll see if the jar does me justice today. So to get started, I'm going to pick six prompts. Take them all out. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'll read each one and see which one matches or what books match with that prompt, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get started. I kind of already like... I'm just gonna shake these up a little more. I kept some of the ones I had in there last month, and then I just put in a ton of new ones. So this thing is full. So, okay, let's see. We got. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm getting. Because I really want like a fall TBR, like October. It needs to be spooky and like fall and cozy. Three. I love how I can shake this jar. That's my favorite thing. Three. All right, let's take a look at what prompts we got. Okay, first prompt. Paranormal Supernatural. Paranormal Supernatural. So a book that's like a paranormal supernatural book. Well, right away I think Hush Hush is a paranormal well, supernatural one because it's like an angel, I believe. Supernatural, literally the first thing, supernatural. Um, I'm gonna take a look at Fallen. I think Fallen is also paranormal, supernatural. I had to look and see if any other books on here were supernatural or paranormal. And like some of them that I thought were more like magic or just like magic use if that makes sense like when i think supernatural i think vampires werewolves like supernatural beings and then paranormal like ghosts um so like magic itself i don't think of it as supernatural i think of that more with fantasy so there's a couple i was thinking of that i thought were paranormal supernatural but it's just magic but the two books that for sure are supernatural books because they have them in the beginning or whatever it says literally supernatural is fallen by lauren kate and hush hush by becca fitzpatrick which was on my september tbr so i could just continue and bring it to my october tbr for sure um 
and both kind of give similar vibes. I think they were both published around the same time. Uh, this came out in 2009. I don't know about Hush Hush. Hush Hush. Hush Hush. Also 2009. So they're around the same time period or like when they were released. Like these dark, you know, books like Vampire Di Diaries and Twilight. So since Hush Hush was on my TBR last month, I think I'm going to put Fallen on my TBR this month. Uh, just because I'm going to give this one a chance to be put on the TBR and maybe give this some more shelf time. So we're going to choose Fallen by Lauren Kate for my Paranormal Supernatural book. Here we go. Maybe with the spooky books. Okay. Prompt number two. We have, what does that say? A library book. That's so funny because I was like, that's so funny. I literally was like, there's no way I'm going to get library book again. And funny thing is I returned one of the library book I got last month today and I went and picked up some more library books today and I have two. So the two library books that I have is Knock Knock Open Wide by Neil Sharpson. This is like a horror book mixed with um like mythology I want to say like I think it's Irish mythology I'm not really sure yeah they're in Ireland I just saw it on the shelf and it seemed really interesting so I'm more leaning towards this and then I also got um a children's middle grade book which would be a really good fast read um the Beatrice Prophecy by Kate Di Camillo, which is like one of my favorite children's authors. She wrote Because of One Dixie, Tiger Rising, she wrote uh, The Adventures of Edward Tulane. She's written a lot of books and I was recommended this book by another elementary school teacher. She likes reading a lot of the Maud Hart Lovelace Award books and this was up for the award and as well as a couple others so my goal is to like read all of them so I can like recommend them to students so I'm pretty sure I really want to read this because she told me like audiobook would be like four hours but of course I read really really fast and I like speed up my audiobook so it would take me less than four hours to read and it'd be an easy read for sure so I kind of want to put this on here because I she was telling me about it and it seemed really interesting to read. I love the little goat on the front and I think I'm gonna put that on my TBR but I don't know what I have. I can't see my my things but if I get a prompt this is middle grade book I will switch it to this because this is the only middle grade book that I think I have um, and then I'll read this instead for my library book if that makes sense but we're gonna put this one on the TBR for library book Be Beatrice Prophecy by Kate De De Camillo. I hope I'm saying that name right I, I never know if that's how you pronounce her name but there we go all right prompt number three we're halfway there it says book club pick okay so that means I can look and see, I usually like looking on Destiny Sidwell's uh, We Read That server to see what book they chose for their book of the month. But it looks like right now they have not posted like a poll or anything like that for their book. So luckily, Fable, if you have not heard of Fable, I think Fable is a lot better than Goodreads. It's just like way more updated and looks nicer has book clubs and I have a couple books on there or I'm part of a couple book clubs on there um, I'm part of like Alexa Ray's book club Heather McLary's book club Natalie Lawyer's book club um, and I really enjoy Heather McLary found out me and her are birthday twins we're the same age found that out literally this year and like I don't know that I was just like she is my twin like I love her so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll pick whatever book she picks for her book club um she hasn't posted a new book club pick for this month so that is gonna be 
a surprise when I am editing this because I hope by the time that I post this video, she'll have a book club pick and maybe I can, I either have that book or I can go get it at the library or something like that or I can Libby app it too. So right now it's still on a novel love story, but I know she'll probably pick a new book club as soon as like October um, rolls around. So for a book club pick, I'm gonna see what um, I'll go off of Heather McLary's book club pick and that will be my third book for October. Okay, fourth pick. Here we go. It's up there. I think it's this fantasy book. Hold on, block my face. Fantasy book, which is fun because I have lots and lots of fantasy behind me and I think fall is the perfect time to read fantasy. So, of course, I have Akatar. Staying away from that for a second. <laughs> Not that I'm scared, but it's just I don't want to. Um, some other fantasy books. I have Urz Forging Silver into Stars. Here, I'll move this way. I have, I think, Ace of Shades is a fantasy book. Forging Silver of the Stars, Fall of the Ruin and Wrath, A Day of Fall and Night, which I don't want to put that on. You can't see it, but it's like the really thick book by Shan Samantha Shannon. Spin the Dawn, I think, is fantasy. I just want like a cozy fantasy, so I'm looking at these, so hold on. All right, so for fantasy, these are my options right now. I have A Fire and Stars by... Audrey Colehurst, um, definitely a fantasy book, has a map, you know it's a fantasy book when it has a map, that book. I have Forging Silver Into Stars by Bridget, Bridget Kemmerer, Kemmerer, which I've read the A Curse So Dark and Lonely series by her, um, so it'd be nice to kind of like read that again, but this is a kind of a thicker book. Kind of go back to her writing, but I think I'm going to put this on my TBR. This is Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armtrout. Um, I have not, have I read a book by her? I don't think I have. Oh, okay. She's the one who wrote Blood from Blood and Ash. That's why her like, name is so like familiar to me because like I know that name but I have not read her um, books yet so this is part of a series it's awakening the awakening series and this is book one so I think I'm gonna put this one on there um, I'm so dumb it literally says it up on the top from blood and ash the author gosh do I know anything about this no but it's a fantasy book and I like the cover, I like the blue, it's fun. It's kinda like shiny, I don't know. Let's put this one on my TBR for a fantasy book. Here we go, we're on book number five. We got, what does that say? A book, something, something, something. A book you've been avoiding. There's a lot of books I've been avoiding. I'm gonna be honest. Jar is one I'm avoiding. That's probably the only one I've been avoiding, um, like big time. But I don't want to put it back on my TBR because I know I'm not going to read it. Um, but I think I've been avoiding Death Note just because I've had it for so long. And I know that was on my TBR last month too as well. But I think it'd be just an easy read um, and it will help me, you know feel good about myself so I am gonna put Death Note I've been putting this off like I all last month was like I really should read Death Note I really should read Death Note it's literally manga like come on it's a it's a manga it's not that hard to read it's not a bunch of words on pages there's pictures and I think I was just avoiding reading it so I'm putting it back on my TBR because I will read this I will and if I don't I quit like I quit okay but putting it back for a book you've been avoiding because I did avoid it all September even though it's so easy to get through 
It's just I was avoiding it because I was lazy. And last, and certainly not least, just kidding, is the last one, is a book with a, I can't read, I can't read. What does it say, with a dark cover? With a dark cover? Well, I have a lot of dark covers already on my TBR. So I think just cause I, Actually, okay, I was gonna say since I have this as a library book, I was gonna put this because it's kind of a dark color, it's like a gray. But I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to pick this book. I'm gonna put The Teacher by Frida McFadden. This is kind of like a dark cover because it's like a dark blue. Um, I mean, yes, I have covers that are black and I have some horror books and things like that, but I think I want to do The Teacher just because I borrowed this from school and I just want to get through it so I can put it back on the shelf for someone else to read because I don't want to keep it. It's kind of like a little library that we have at school or at my work and I think I've been wanting to read this, so I think if I put it on my TBR to read it, and then I can be done with it and put it back for someone else to read, um, would be good. So that's my choice for a dark cover. I know it's not like the darkest, but it is a dark blue. So, and it's like a thriller, so it's good for October. All right, so let's recap on what books I will be reading for the month of October. So for a book that is a supernatural or paranormal book, I chose Fallen by Lauren Kate. For a library book, I chose The Beatrice Prophecy by Kate DiCamillo. For a book club pick, I don't know what I picked, so future editing Kelly gets to put in a picture here, but I'm reading this book. This is, or I'm putting this book on my TBR. It doesn't mean I'm gonna read it, but it's on my TBR. For a fantasy book, I put Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Arm, Armentrout, yes. For a book you've been avoiding, I decided to put Death Note Volume One. This is the black edition because I avoided it all last month when I could have read it and got it done. And last but not least a book with a dark cover the teacher by frida mcfadden and oh i'm so excited because now i can start reading some of these books and hopefully i like want to push myself to read a little bit more in the month of october it is a little bit of a busier month but we have a couple more days of um like days off as a teacher um we have like our fall break and just like with like next week we have like Friday off so it's like we have some days off so hopefully I can take those days to just like relax and read and get into the cozy vibes or now I guess the more spooky vibes for October um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you comment down below what are your um hopefuls for October what books are you planning to read um and let me know down below also make sure you subscribe i post videos once a week i love posting book content right now but i also would love to be posting more about lifestyle vlogs and music as well because music is also one of my big passions in life so i hope you stick around and subscribe that's about it thanks for watching bye